Good evening and welcome to another edition of Friday Night Lights. I'm Jay Pushkar. We'll hear from Mike Fenner in a moment. We have a full slate of high school football action to get to as we will start in Region 9. McDowell and Butler were not able to play this evening due to COVID-19, but the headliner in that region was a showdown at Dollinger Field. Mike Fenner has more with that matchup. Mike, good evening. Good evening, Jay. And yeah, we're talking all about Cathedral Prep versus Erie High Round 2. We saw a ton of points in this matchup just a few weeks ago at Veterans Stadium. Now it's Prep's turn to host the Royals down 12th and Cherry. Another high scoring matchup in this one with the Ramblers looking for a big milestone against Rob Matt's Erie Royals tonight. First quarter, no score until there was one. Tamar Sample taking off. The prep senior QB goes down the left sideline for a 40 yard touchdown, puts the Ramblers up 7 0 early in this one. Erie responding after they went three and out in their first possession. Their second chance with a football results in a touchdown connection from Jaleel Granberry to Marquel Darnell for a seven-yard hookup. 7-6 seven, to start the second quarter after a blocked point after. Preps Mike Parks the third with his lone touchdown run of the night. He went for 127 yards on 23 carries, scores from 10 yards out, 14-6. After a special teams gaffe from Erie sets up Prep inside the 15, Cole Constable hits one of his two field goals on the night, 17-6 Ramblers. Erie answers, though, by way of Steve Smith going on the ground and turning on the Jets to the tune of a 60-yard touchdown run for the Royals. And they line up to go for two. Granberry hitting Darnell on the fade. Cuts it to a field goal game. 17-14 prep. And then Ramblers score again. So they lead 24-14 right before the half. Erie on the doorstep. But Granberry picked off Demario Crawford in the middle of the end zone. Could be a huge turning point in this game. And another huge play to start the third quarter in the passing game. First and 29 for prep. Airing it out. It's sample to Crawford. 37 yards on the pitch and catch. Sets up a sample five-yard touchdown run. And prep all of a sudden up 31 to 14 after that sequence. More prep and more sample. Two minutes left in the third. Fourth and 10, no problem. 25 yard touchdown run for the Rambler QB, who scored four times on the ground tonight. 38 14 lead for the Ramblers. Smith would carry the ball 16 times, though, for 238 yards and two scores, including this fourth quarter 78 yard touchdown run for the Royals. But it is Cathedral Prep going on to get the win. 41-22 over Erie, and for head coach Mike Mishler, it's win number 200 with the Ramblers at Cathedral Prep. To me, it's representative of all the great players and all the great coaches I've had on my staff. You know, and that's you know that's really you know humbling. It's you know it's a nice milestone, and you know, but uh, you know it's really it's a testament to them. And you know, I mean, I've I've been very very blessed, and with a lot of great coaches, a lot of great people, a lot of kids, a lot of great coach, you know, uh, players, and uh, you know, so I mean, you're gonna you know you're gonna get wins with that, you know. So you know, yeah, I'm, I'm just happy for our team getting a win tonight. You know, this is just a bizarre year, and uh, yeah, it just continues to be more and more bizarre. But Play was set for um, number twenty. Number 10, Marco Darno. Uh, he was going out for a fly, but then I totally rotated back to the middle of the field because he looked him off and I got the interception. Running game right now, that's pretty special. And I mean, uh, four touchdowns running, I'll, I'll take it. I really, I hardly got touched, so I give it all to the line. On the Lewis Fitness and Performance Scoreboard, Cathedral Prep over Erie, 41-22 for the season sweep. Prep QB Tamar Sample, 17 carries, 171 yards and four scores. Mike Parks, 23 totes for 127 yards and a touchdown. Steve Smith, though, in the loss, 238 yards rushing and two touchdowns. But for Prep head coach Mike Mishler, as we said, 200 wins with Cathedral Prep alone. Big milestone. Congratulations to coach out in Waterford, Fort LaBeouf, looking to lock up the Region 7 championship. They could do so with a victory against Mercyhurst Prep. First play from scrimmage, the Lakers with the unforced turnover. The ball is loose, and Tristan Harris comes up with the takeaway. Bison go to work offensively and right away. Harris with a huge run on the sweep. That would move the chains and keep the drive going. A few plays later, LaBeouf knocking on the door, and Jack Rimpa walks right through it as he scores from one yard out. LaBeouf leading 7 to nothing. Final play of the first quarter, Harris gets the ball, and he knows what to do with it. Turns the corner, and he is off to the races. No one's going to touch him. 58 yards on the touchdown run. Bison up 14 to nothing after the first quarter. They go on to win the Region 7 championship with a 42 nothing win over Mercyhurst Prep. Let's head over to Harbor Creek, where the Huskies faced Northeast. Opening drive for the home team, and Cameron Williamson. Gets the rock out of the backfield, rips off this huge run, and a Husky first down. Later on in the drive, on play action, Casey Smith finds Logan Goodenow for the wide open touchdown reception. Harbor Creek in front, 7 to nothing. Next Huskies possession, Smith 
with all kinds of time in the pocket, able to connect with Merrick Bauer, able to go inside the 10, nearly gets into the end zone, but they're going to settle up a first and goal, and from there, Harbor Creek goes back to the ground. This time, it's Williamson going right up the middle for six. Huskies leading 14 to nothing. Then just before the end of the first quarter, Smith, play action. And he's going to hit Ryan Whitman for the 38-yard strike. Harbor Creek stays perfect, and they clinch at least a share of the Region 6 championship. They sweep the season series from Northeast. They take this one 41-6. At General McLean, Lancers hosting Corey at Linden Field. We'll pick things up in the third quarter. Lancers leading by four scores. Jared Ivorone takes the rock. And he's able to cash in from 10 yards out. McLean extending their lead to 35 to nothing. More from the Lancers. This time it's Dylan Sheeter bursting out of the backfield for a first down as he was there for the quarterback keeper. This would lead to the misdirection carry by Grant Sherman. He's going to scamper in from 10 yards out. General McLean would go on to win this one by the final of 49 to 7. Mike, let's toss it back over to you. Thanks, Jay. The Eisenhower Knights are off to a 4 0 start to the season, and they've only been scored on twice all year heading into tonight. They had a chance to win Region 5 outright if they could earn their second win over Iroquois. First quarter action, and the Knights threatening here out in uh, Jim Penley territory there in Russell. Kale Black on the pitch here for the run, going 14 yards to the outside, and touchdown for Eisenhower. It's 14 0 the Knights lead there. Later in the half, it's Black coming up with another catch here and following it up with a monster run as Owen Trumbull finds him on the middle screen there. And how about this? All the way to Pater, 21-0. Ike with the big lead here off the play on the touchdown pass from Trumbull. They kept their foot on the pedal and Trumbull to Caleb Robino for the big pitch and catch here. One of six touchdown passes for Trumbull, 27-0 the lead. He was 9 for 12, 262 yards and six scores on the night. Eisenhower rolling past Iroquois, 61-8. The Knights clinching the Region 5 championship outright. Out in Wattsburg, Seneca High School officially playing its first football game under the brand new lights and field turf at Bob Diffenbacher Stadium. Beautiful sight to see there. Congratulations. Late first half, Bears leading big and their defense keeping up the pressure. Owen Kearns, the tackle for loss here. Bears leading it 38 to nothing at the break. Opening drive of the second half for Union City. Fourth and short at midfield. David Roshinsky powers his way up the middle. Picks up the first down into Bobcat territory. Later in the drive, Shane Hubert gets the magic bean and runs 25 yards for another big first down pickup, first and goal. And on fourth and goal here, Bears going to capitalize. Not going to give in here on the situation. Caleb Stoll left side and scores there. Union City takes care of Seneca by the count of 44 to 12.